again everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little crisscross box. It has a belly band that slips off and this opens up and you can put a little treat bag in there. I even thought you could write your little note under the little crisscross there. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is start with an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. And on the 8.5 side you're going to score it at 3 and a fourth and 4 and a fourth. And then on the long side, you're going to score it at 3, 4, 7, and 8. Now I drew some lines to show you where you need to cut. And these um, diagonal, you're going to go from this point to this point. And you can either use a ruler to make that straight or put it in your uh, paper trimmer and line up the corners there. So this is what it will look like when you are done. Okay, so these fold in like this and these fold in. Now, you're going to also need some DSP, and I've already put it on here. This piece, let's see, is 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and an eighth. Now, the triangles are a piece, two, actually two pieces of DSP that are 4 inches by 2 and 3 fourths. And you're going to cut them on a diagonal, okay, like this. Now, you need two different ones because when you cut it, like if you cut it like this, they're both going to be the same side, okay? So cut one this way and cut one this way. That way you'll have one for here and one for here. Now in your packet, I will have just the triangles ready for you. All right, so you're going to adhere them there. And you're going to put sticky strip right here. All right, let me get all of this off. And you're going to fold it up like this. Fold these little guys in and these guys up. So that they're right there, right on that line. And then bring this side, whoops, this side up. Okay, can you see that? Fold that down. Bring this side. <laughs> and there we go. All right, so there you have your little box. And then you're going to need to make the belly band, okay? And the belly band is one and a half inches by nine and five eighths long. And you're going to score it at one and an eighth, four and a fourth, five and three eighths, and eight and a half. All right, so fold all of these in, put some adhesive, sticky strip is what I recommend right there, and you're going to slide that over, and that's going to hold your box closed. Okay. Now what else I put on mine was some burlap and I want to show you how this burlap comes. It comes thick like this and what I did, it's really kind of, um, I mean it's beautiful but I find it, it's a little stiff and it's hard to work with so I just cut it down the middle and I used a piece to wrap around that belly band and I used some crystal effects to have that hold on real tight because it is very heavy. You could also use hot glue or glue dots, see what works best for you. Um, last, I stamped this in stays on, in, on whisper white and punched it out with a two and three fourths, I believe, two and three eighths scallop circle punch and colored it in with a marker. I attached it with Stampin' Dimensionals. The last thing you need to do is stamp Enjoy on one of the modern label, decorative label, suddenly I can't remember names, punch out of Cherry Cobbler. I folded it in half, filled my cello bag with treats, and just stapled it on. And that's it. Easy and super cute. Alright, thanks so much. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions.